they're your kids, your siblings, your friends, your neighbors, your associates, your barista, your boss. Maybe they're you. We're talking about millennials. Who are the millennials and how do they interact with audio? Don't you love being grouped in a, like a group? Isn't it awful? Uh, we recruited a special meetup of millennials to talk about exactly that. So please welcome our crew. <laughs> Guys, just real quick, go down the line, uh, say your name, and just one sentence that defines you. On the spot like that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Fred, and I love pop culture. Oh, awesome. My name is Heather, and I'm blunt. Uh-oh, <laughs> you're in the right place. Yeah. Uh, my name is Alyssa, and I spend my life in the pursuit of passion. Nice. I don't know how to follow that. Um, <laughs> my <laughs> name is Shaka, far. and I'm very easygoing. Oh, terrific. Um, and I'm Mark, and I'm none of those things. Um, <laughs> so what we're going to do is I'm going to ask him a few questions, then we are going to open the mic uh, for about the last 10 minutes or so, because I, I know you guys are going to have some questions for these folks. Okay. So walk me through your day, guys. I want to know, this is about audio, the stuff you listen to. I want to know when you listen to radio, when you listen to online radio, when you listen to podcasts. Just take me, walk me through your day, Chuck. Let's start on your side this time. Okay, so for me, I, I don't really listen to the radio AM, FM very often, but I do. And when I do, I'm not so much into music that's popular today, so I'll listen to older stations such as, you know, The Wave and, and uh, things of that nature. Um, but that's rare. I usually use audio uh, more so. I'm very into video games, and nowadays video gaming is a very social thing. Uh, there is a platform called Twitch in which I can broadcast my, game, my gameplay, and to customize that, I use, um, you know, different types of music uh, in the background as I'm streaming my gameplay to just kind of, kind of customize my channel or, or my programs. And that music comes from where? Uh, different places. Um, well, to be more specific, uh, I, I enjoy PlayStation. That's the platform that I play on. And they have a relationship with Spotify. So uh, with Spotify, I can download my own music and uh, use it how I please. And so that, you know, that allows me to put music from Spotify onto my streams. So when would you listen to a podcast? Um, Mainly, you know, to and from work. If I'm not just feeling music that day, I, I will definitely listen to uh, Freakonomics or, 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 you know, certain podcasts just to kind of uh, switch it up from, from music. Uh, but also to get, like, my gaming news. There's a podcast that I enjoy called Game Scoop um, from IGN. I don't know if you've ever heard of any of these things I'm saying. And, uh, what are you trying to say, Shaka? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you have. Excuse me. Don't mean to be judgmental. But um, so yeah. So I'll listen to a podcast occasionally uh, to get my gaming news and 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 to you know just kind of stay in the loop with other things. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Alyssa, walk me through your day. Where are you, and what are you listening to, and where? Um, okay. Well. When I wake up in the morning, I usually um, listen to, I usually immediately turn on Spotify or like an NPR podcast. Um, I don't really have like specific podcasts that I listen to in the morning. It will just can just be anything. <laughs> just need something in the background. Um, it's going to get my brain engaged basically and like ready to go for the day. Um, so usually that's like an upbeat playlist on Spotify or an NPR podcast. Um, and then in my car, like, I have the option to listen to my Spotify or just, like, podcasts that I've saved offline, but I actually do listen to the radio a lot in the car. Um, I guess purely just out of convenience. It takes the choice away. Like, I don't have to choose, like, what I'm listening to. What do you mean? Um, well, I guess with radio, it's, like, whatever is playing is what's playing. So it's, like, if it's not what you're looking for, you don't get to go, oh, I want this other thing specifically which I actually like um, on my drives, especially because I don't want to have to be thinking about one more thing. Like, uh, I can choose whatever song is next. And so it's like, if, I'm not, if I don't have that choice, then I'm not thinking about it and it doesn't, I'm not worried. <laughs> but for some reason, if I have the choice, I'm like, oh my God, like, what's the next song? And then what's the next song I want in that playlist? It's and too like, much not work. This song. You're saying yeah. it's too much work to yeah. do something else. Yeah, it's too much work and I should be focusing on driving. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> 
So that's when I listen to radio. Um, and then I listen to audio books in the middle of the day a lot because I, I nanny some of the time. Mm-hmm. Um, so I use Audible, uh, the Amazon app, and I listen to a lot of audio books. They have options now for um, streaming radio and podcasts and stuff too, which is cool. So I do that in the middle of the day. And then I honestly listen to Spotify probably all day, every day though. Like it's, it has, it seems to have the most options of all the streaming platforms um, and the most benefits and the most, the most ability to use it on the go um, at any time, really anywhere. And you can connect at any time, anywhere too. But I've used Tidal and um, Apple Music and Pandora and okay. all those things. So that's basically what I Heather, do. what about you? Um, <clears throat> excuse me, lost my voice a few days ago. I think for me that in the morning I prefer to listen to podcasts because it kind of starts my day on a funny note. The podcasts I listen to are very, um, opinionated, um, excuse my language, but such as like um, Men We Fucked and just silly <laughs> stories like that. And That's a very popular podcast. Yeah, it is. It is a very popular podcast and I actually got introduced by it by a girlfriend and other than that, I wouldn't have even known about it. And then I think that towards the end of my day, after work, after school, after I've had a full day of decision making and all these things I've had to do, that I prefer either to listen to the radio or Spotify because just like Alyssa was saying, it takes the decision making process away where it's like, What's there is there. And if I don't like what's on the radio, I can go to Spotify or Pandora. And they kind of just choose for me. And they know what I like because I'm constantly putting, like, the thumbs up or, like... And where are you when you're doing that? Driving, always. At the wheel. So at the wheel, you'll switch between Spotify and Pandora and radio. Yeah, definitely. Like, I mean, the radio tends to get really repetitive. So usually it's, like, 20 minutes of radio. And then I'm like, yeah, forget this. Not into it. And then I switch to Spotify. It's kind of, like, mood-dependent, I think, for me. Where it's like, if I had a shitty day, maybe I want to listen to something more upbeat. If I had a bad day or whatever is going on. Kind are, of you, are you saying you have more control over your experience when yeah, you listen to Spotify? Yeah, exactly. And I, I think I like that. Whereas radio doesn't give you that option. You're constantly hearing the same songs over and over. You know, three, three times an hour on four different stations. And it's, it's annoying. So. Okay. Um, you mentioned uh, finding out about a podcast from a friend. I'm curious. Mm-hmm. How do you guys find out about the podcast that you consume? Then we'll get to you, Fred, about your thing. But go, you start on this one, and then I'll, get, I'll back into what you do during the day. How do you find out about the podcast you consume? Um, usually through a random conversation or someone telling a joke. For instance, I have a, I have a friend uh, who's honestly the biggest character you'll ever meet, but he got me into Joe Rogan, got me into a couple other podcasts like Adam Carolla, all that type of stuff. So, uh, so what do you do? Word he, of he mouth. He told you about really. it. Yeah, word of mouth. I, I I don't go searching for them. To be honest, I I don't. You know, I have a, enough media in my life that like, unless it's word of mouth where someone says like you have to check this out, then I'll consider it. You know, but other than that, it's like I'm not gonna waste my time on it. Alyssa, you're nodding. Yeah, um, I don't. I don't ever really search much for it it's like whatever if, if I open my app up and whatever's up there catches my eye like I'll listen to that or my my, my best friend's always sending me texts being like listen to this one listen to that one really? and she'll link to it so yeah it's kind of unfortunately like it is some part curiosity and a lot of parts uh, convenience <laughs> right Shaka uh-huh. what about you yeah. how do you find well, out I first stumbled upon podcasts uh, because I downloaded an app called TuneIn, which is an audio streaming app, uh, podcast music and everything. Um, and so I saw a column for podcasts. I didn't know what that was, so I decided to explore it. And so today, I will actually search for podcasts and new So new TuneIn content. turned you on to podcasts? Yes. Yeah, TuneIn Radio. <laughs> is someone here? Hi, TuneIn. That's interesting. <laughs> um, and uh, who'd I miss? Heather. Um, for me, so the first time I found out about podcasts was through my friend. And um, I was subscribed to one or two of them. And then I remember, I think it was on Facebook one time that I ran across a BuzzFeed article that said, you know, the top 10 or 15 or 20 best podcasts that you should listen to. And I saw it and then I read on a few of them. And then from there, I kind of, um, I think I picked up like another two that I really enjoyed. And that was kind of similar to the other ones that I was listening to. So this was like totally new for me because I had never, before my friend and before this article, podcasts were kind of like a foreign dimension to me. It was like, eh, radio, Spotify, Pandora, that's it. So all of you guys, it's interesting, all of you guys kind of discover the podcast that you use, not because of a discovery function on a podcast player, but because you hear about it from other people or you see it written up somewhere. Except for me. Except for you. Right. 
Okay, right. The the That's right. Um, you mentioned TuneIn. Uh, TuneIn plays radio stations. There are other apps that also play radio stations. Uh, it, it, do, do any of you listen to radio stations uh, on a mobile device, on a mobile app like a TuneIn or an iHeartRadio? Anybody? Yes. You do. You listen to stations on it. I the do. other guys know. Mm -hmm. And what do you listen to on there? Uh, what stations or stations what Stations from the area or stations from far away? Uh, it depends. Uh, whatever, you know, I'm interested in at the time. Uh, which is why I appreciate uh, TuneIn because there are so many options there. Or, or Spotify, you know, I, uh, it doesn't have to be local. So just whatever I'm feeling okay. for the day. Um, Fred, take me through your day and how it interacts with audio. Uh, usually my mood's different every morning, so... And I'm the type of person who has like music ADD, so I'll listen to something for like a minute and then switch it over because I want to get the most out of my drive or like the most out of my morning while I'm getting ready. So normally when I wake up, generally I like to go like on YouTube, watch music videos, but for the most part, when I'm in, when I'm in my car, uh, if I'm not listening to like Joe Rogan, I'm usually on on Spotify. And the cool thing about Spotify, what I, why I like it is I have a, you know, my group of friends and you know, we share songs to one another uh, and we listen to each other's playlists. And uh, I mean, that's the main reason why I use Spotify. And we have a similar taste and someone will come across something and you know, so it, that's really cool. But when I'm at work, and I'm, I work basically every day, except right now. <laughs> uh, we generally are like Google based, like everything we do it has like to do with our, with our, with our Gmail, using Google documents, uh, spreadsheets, everything. We, we share the schedules, everything is, is on Google. So then I got into, uh, you know, playing music off Google. And so I kind of created like a profile there and I started sharing it with some of the guys at work. So when I'm at work, um, I mean, I'm usually on Google. I don't, I don't have my Spotify linked uh, to my computer at work, so. Uh, Where does regular radio come in for you? Regular radio comes in when I'm not connected to my Bluetooth in the car. <laughs> but no, I, like I said, it depends on the mood. Some, like sometimes, and I would say maybe once a week, usually like on a Thursday, because Thursdays are the worst days, uh, I'll turn on like classical music. You know, and they have a station uh, on FM radio, or I'll listen to uh, news radio, which is like, uh, what is it, KBC or something, uh, of a 790 on AM radio. So it's, I spend a lot of time in the car, I spend a lot of, you know, I'm always constantly moving, so mm -hmm. my phone's always attached, so if I can connect to the Bluetooth, if I can't, let's say my phone's dead and it happens mm -hmm. to be the case, it dies, then I'll listen to radio, and a lot of it is either talk radio on AM or, you know, some cl uh, classical music or alternative. I can't really stand some of the generic music because they play it so much that my mm -hmm. head wants to explode. So, uh, um, Alyssa and Heather, you, you guys, when you listen to the radio, what kinds of radio are you listening to? Like station specifically? Yeah. Um, I listen to... I really, I mean, I like all kinds of music besides like country or like oldies. So I listen to like 102.7, 105.9, 104.7, 97.1. So I'll like kind of like pop mainstream a little bit. So that's why I think it kind of gets a little bit repetitive for me over time. And how much of your listening is that stuff versus Spotify and the other and the um, I would say like 20 to 80 or 20% 20 radio. 20, yeah, 20 to 25% radio. What about you, Alyssa? Um, I don't really have any specific stations because I'd kind of jump around to all of them. Um, I, I'm not a huge fan of country, but I'll listen to it. <laughs> um, so it just kind of depends. Like, I'll jump around until I hear something that just, again, like, pops out to me and that I want to want to hear more of. Um, and then I'll stick on that station until I don't like what I'm hearing, and then I switch to another one. It's interesting that some of you guys listen to stuff that's like, aimed at you and uh, and sometimes you're listening to stuff like you said the oldies that are not aimed at you or the talk radio that isn't necessarily aimed at you is that because this is stuff you can't get any other way i mean yeah i mean classical music it's either you have a taste for it or not and i i've played instruments before like piano and guitar and violin 
So I have, I sometimes have like this want for to hear those those instruments, you know, mm -hmm. like just you know just those classical instruments the way they are. So I can't get that really unless I you know unless I do a search something specific. You know, I have some Herbie Hancock on my on my Spotify. If you want to talk about old school, so like I have some of those oldies, but I don't mm -hmm. really necessarily have classical because I'm not generally in the mood, unless like I'm in the car, you know. And as far as talk radio goes, uh, I like to be kind of in, up to date with what's going on, you know, not just listen to music. I I like to be interested in, you know what stupid stuff Donald Trump has done today, <laughs> you know? So it's kind of, it, that's kind of what the reasoning. And, and honestly, my, my father used to listen to talk radio a lot when I, when, I, when I was younger. So my experience of talk radio was from like eight years old till I got my car, which was like 16. Mm -hmm. So for like eight years, it was nothing but talk radio, getting driven in his car. So I still kind of sometimes turn, turn it mm -hmm. on, so. So, go ahead. Yeah, I would say actually the nostalgia plays a, actually a large role in why I listen to what I listen to when I and when I listen to it. Like you mean in general or yeah, on the radio? Yeah, well, I mean on the radio in particular, I would say like, um, I mean I like all I like older music and classical music just as it is. Um, but because my whole childhood was a lot of car radio, I think that there's something like comforting in in having that remain a part of my routine. I see. Um, do you, um, uh, who here has a, a, a radio of some sort in their home? No. You do. Who here has a radio? Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's like ancient. <laughs> <laughs> who here has a radio of some sort in there at where you work? You do? Both? Okay. Um, talk to me about the... Uh, when you say ancient, I got to follow that a little bit. Tell me what you mean by that. It's like um, it's like people still using a laser disc. <laughs> it's just out of date. It's not. I have I have a MacBook. Everything is on there. I can listen to what I want when I want. If I want to listen to a radio station, I can listen to it on the web. I don't need to you know lug around a what's so it stereo. Wh <laughs> what, what, what makes, <laughs> what, why is it different, Heather, why is it different in the car then? Because it's in there too, right? It is in the car, but in the car, it's, it's there. I don't need to put extra effort into, you know, putting something on, putting something, taking something with me. Everything these days is all about convenience and everything being compact. Things are not getting bigger. Things are getting smaller. <laughs> so like, and so I think that when you think about that, people don't want to, they don't want to carry around things. They don't want to take excess baggage. Nobody wants baggage. Okay, talk to me about uh, commercials, advertising, that you hear on various places, whether it's online radio or uh, regular radio or uh, podcasting. Uh, what's the first thing that comes into to mind, Alyssa, when I ask you about that? Oh, I, I'm going to be honest. I completely tune any ad out as soon as I see or hear it. Like, it's gotten to the point where, like, it doesn't matter what it's about, what, whether or not it tricks me by being in the middle of something I love. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> I just, as soon as someone, like, I hear the sound of a voice, I'm like, Bleh, and it just, my mind just shuts down. It does not process any of it. Shaka, what about you? Uh, I'm going to second that. I actually, yeah, I, you know, I'm just kind of... Um, well, come on. But you hear advertising on all these places where you listen to content. I do. I will say, um, in recent memory, I don't think I've ever actually heard an ad and, and decided to, I don't know, inv uh, purchase or, or whatever they were selling. It's never affected me in that way. I just kind of automatically... Have you ever heard an ad and said, okay, if you're going to try and reach out to me, that's a fine way to reach out to me. That's fair. Never, not once. Never. You have. Yeah. Tell me. Yeah, so I used to be with these two where I would ignore all the ads, and then I'm an avid Pandora listener. So Pandora started having, I think it was last year or two years ago, this ad where it was this Lexus pop-up concert series where if you actually listened to the ad and then you clicked on it, it would take you to this page where you could sign up to go to this free concert at local clubs in LA and it was really awesome and me and my friends started become we started going to all of them so then I started being a little bit more not interested in the ads but I pay a little bit more attention to them because we got to go to these free awesome concerts and see these either great DJs or or 
whoever was playing at the time, even, even if it was somebody we didn't know, it's always a great time with your friends and out and just drinking. And so I started listening to ads a little bit more after that and being a little bit more keen to their presence. So you're saying that was a case where the ad was offering something of value to you, which mm -hmm. is why you paid attention. I'll to listen it. to free, free stuff ads. I will always. What does that mean? Free listen. stuff ads. If there's free stuff involved, <laughs> I'm probably going to go for it. So it's like if I hear in the tune outage, if I suddenly hear free thing, I'm going to be like, what? Free things? Um, does anybody have any questions Take to note. ask our panel? <laughs> come on, I know. Come on up to the mic. Just come on up. Hold on a sec. The question is, and then, then you're up, uh, uh, what is old music? I'm not sure even what that means. What does that mean? Oh, who? Oh, um, How do you find old I would oldies? define it as just like pre- Anything that is pre-mainstream right now, like that's like my weird definition of oldies. It's just anything that's not in the, anything that was now. before the now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't really, everything's an oldie to me if it's not mainstream radio. Mine is a little bit different because I do like music from like the 90s and stuff like that. But I think that anything from the <laughs> 80s really before I was born, like is just, yeah, absolutely no. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, so my question is, um, is there anything that you can point to that specifically turns you off, whether it's, your, whether it's a, a commercial, uh, whether it's a commercial or a podcast, is there something that like triggers you to be like, I'm out, I'm out of here? Fred, what about you? Um, the reason I got like a Spotify membership is because it's like, there's that little like beats like do, 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 and then it's like, uh, Thank you for listening. Free free ads on Spotify, and the, and I'm like, oh my god, I gotta get a membership. I'm I'm tired of this, because it gets in the way. I don't know. I want to skip to the next song. I don't know. That. And it's never anything like, good. <laughs> it's never anything good. It's just like, so you're gonna take 30 seconds of my time to make me listen to something not good. Yeah. Go ahead. I actually have a question. Uh, was that question meant for for frequency radio or more for internet based? Um, am I more Okay. Or podcasts, Chaka. Great, great. Okay, great. Thank you. Just wanted to clarify. So what's, what's your answer? Uh, actually, I, off the bat, I can't think of anything that uh, happens uh, when I'm using any streaming service and, and it just turns Same. me off. That you guys have an answer? No. I just don't want to hear an interruption. Like, I don't, want to, I, don't want to, I don't want there to be an interruption in the flow of what's being, what, of the information that's being given or of the music that, that I'm hearing. Like... Heather mentioned something of value and that that value meant that you would be more interested in that kind of messaging again. Is there any other thing that you can think of that's of value, that we'll get to your question in a second, of, of value that an advertiser can offer you that will make you say, you know what, maybe I'll give this a hearing? I think if they, if the ads that you're seeing are kind of appealing to the group, if there was like a platform where they could, they know the age range that you are, they could tell by the music you listen to what you would be interested in. Kind of like the same thing that Facebook does, where you search something on eBay and then all of a sudden it pops up on your Facebook everywhere. They know what you're doing. So if they did that, because I, I don't care about like, you know, Cottonelle's new tissue. I don't, like, <laughs> I don't care about these things. But it, you remembered it, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I remembered it because it's so annoying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they always have And, like, it almost gets me to be like, you know what? I'm not going to fucking buy Cottonelle. They, they blow up my Pandora. I'm not feeling it today. <laughs> <laughs> John? Uh, well, Mark kind of already stole my question, but what would be the one thing you would, um, since you don't, I, I work mostly in news talk, sports, radio, what would get, say, you to possibly listen to more spoken word um, that spoken word is not giving you right now. Are you talking about talk radio? Yeah, news talk, yeah. So no, what, what the question is, what could you hear on what, talk radio that would be What would you want to hear? To because I know a lot of people, sadly, in the format I work in, don't recognize the younger generations and what you guys would want to hear. In terms of gain, uh, what like what kind of information, what kind of topics you want to talk, you want to hear. Well, I guess that's uh, that just all depends on uh, the person, the listener. You know, like I said earlier, I'm in, I'm very much in a video game, so I, I guess if uh, I heard an ad that mentioned 
PlayStation. I, I automatically, that would pique my interest, and then I would. Uh, and I'm not acting out. I'm more like shows or the actual, uh, the actual show content. content. Yeah. Uh, I mean, good question. Like, for instance, if I go back in time, listening to 790 and like Larry Elder on the radio, and how like much older the conversations seem. You know, like the whole just. You can't relate. Like it sounds like a different language, right? Versus listening to it right now. Now they have like these like like these segments where they 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 call a, like a customer call or not a customer a listener calls in, and they pick a number between one and seventy three or something like that, and possibly win a thousand dollars. You know, like they do things like that. You you want you want something just uh, an honest conversation, not gimmicks. I mean. No, I, look, I enjoy that. I personally enjoy some, some of the, some of the conversations, and and I know that some of the radios, for instance, even 790, uh, from uh, from uh, like uh, during the afternoon, they have like this younger woman on with uh, Sean. Uh, what's his name? Um, I forgot his name. It's just skipped my head. And 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 she's kind of like not dumb, but like plays dumb yeah. at the same time. So it's kind of funny. You know, so it kind of adds like a more not not a younger twist, but like something that's like, oh yeah, well I don't know about that either. You know, so it's like yeah, I can relate. Some I don't more know. character I, voices. Yeah, I can I can see that helping. Also, um, last comment. Okay, um, more like uh, giveaways. Everybody wants something free. I know a lot of people still listen to frequency radio because there there are always uh, giveaways, and uh, so I feel like. You know, the chance to win tickets to this show or, you know, for people who go to a lot of concerts or something of that nature would definitely hold our attention. I'm just speaking generally. Uh, yeah. Big thank you to our 20-something panel. Thanks, everybody, for being here.